I've played a lot of champions on my channel. Whether it was to prove a point or learn more about them, my somewhat bad win rate isn't because I'm bad, it's because I'm fun and also kind of bad. But while learning about new characters and experimenting with playstyles, there was one champion that I unfortunately became addicted to. Not because they were overpowered or because they were number one on my hottest champion tier list, but rather because I enjoyed being able to turn my brain off for 20 minutes and farm to win. And if I ever did lose on this champion, it was simply not my fault. So today, let's play my favorite judgmental Dami Mommy Kale. And be careful, word on the street is that she's casting foul judgment on those who aren't subscribed to the channel. I, I wouldn't take any risks, so make sure you're subscribed. And also turn on all notifications so that you don't miss a banger like this one. When we hit 400k subs, Kale will smile for the first time in her life. Okay, let's go. If he wants to fight me in my wave, he can. Bro. Oh my god. Wow. So unfortunate. I have my final tomorrow and I'm sure I'll do good. Excuse blessing. Dude, I believe in you, Juan Sats. So don't believe in yourself. Believe in the me that believes in you. You guys remember that? Isn't that fucking toxic? Kamino was a <laughs> hole. He said, you don't gotta believe in yourself, bro, because I believe in you. And my belief is more important. Bruh. Bullying a Silas is kind of a dub, though. <laughs> yeah, boy. Kale getting a kill is so much more important than Silas getting a kill. It's not even funny. Kale, her whole thing is get to level 16. But if you learn how to play her, you could actually do a little bit more. I'm about to be a little bit stronger than Silas, I think. Ink playing sucks. Let's go. Huge. <laughs> Never mind. He actually one shots me. GP sucks. He does, but he fucking crit. Like, what do I do about that? Uh oh. I'm gonna go steel blue and probably get level 11 off of it. Nice try, little funny, funny man. Something that kind of sucks is that now people FF a lot faster when you hit level 16 on Kale. In the few games I've played on Kale recently, every single time I hit level 16, they already knew. And it's because everyone's faced a Kale at level 16 now. There was a point in time where Kale was such a rare character that like I didn't see her for like 100 games. But now there are so many Kale players that everyone's like, fuck 16, get out of here. Which means me as a Kale player, I can't have any fun. Hi guys. Bro, that shit hurts. I got a little beat up back there, huh? I caught all four of those bad boys. Okay, now I'm going to go wit's end. I'm gonna go wit's end to survive this the Silas burst. I don't know if it's warded. It might be. We'll see how they approach. Bro, what? Jesus. Annoying. Disappointed! Let's go! I'm gonna get more waves. 
Boom, 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 boom. God, Kel is so satisfying. You become a real champion and then you just take the fucking game over. It's so fun. Crazy how you could do this on every single champion in the game, by the way. Sure, Kel has a power spike, but I think the reason why Kel is so strong in lower elos is because people actually care about farming when they play this champion. Whereas nobody else playing this game cares about farming. Kel is the Tila Tequila of League of Legends. All right, relax, buddy. There's an opposite there, all right? Kale isn't good at first and then becomes very good. Tila Tequila was good at first and then became very not good. Oh, Kaisa, scary. Okay, we win. Bum, bum, ba -na, da -na, 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 na I didn't even get to level 60. No, Sag. No. I was trying to get a point proven because I thought they were going to FF and then they didn't FF, which is one too fast. Echo is going to be a fucking rough one. Bro, oh my goodness. I can't fucking see us. Oh, Echo's so hard. He has such good wave clear for nothing. It looks like an L, but I promise it's not. Oh no. I pinged it and he gets a double kill. This is about to get a little bad. What matters most here is that we get there and we will, we'll get there. We're all gonna make it bros. Yay! Okay, whatever. Bro. Whatever. Not the biggest deal. Good shit, misfortune, yay! Fucking loser. What the fuck am I looking at? Zed still gives him a kill. I used everything that Echo had, but it didn't matter. Whoa, little early to be popping off like that, huh, Brand? He tried to emote. Grab that. Holy fuck, any help at all, Zed? Bro, what? Okay. Bro, he went down, whatever. He got it. He actually got it with that. I thought I could E. Please, no, man. I'm level 16. Team needs to sprawl out on my back. Kill two. I'm very, 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 very strong right now. Like, very strong. I am a very strong person right now. Heal me, heal me, heal me. There you go. Go for Kale. Kill her. You guys gotta kill the Kale. Go for the Kale. Stand in the way. Block it. Block it. Let's go. They all went for Kale. 
the one with the ability to become immune to damage that was insane fucking won this game oh they've been so hard i'm gonna just tp top honestly we push them in and then we slow in please you're joking Bro. I couldn't ult, bro. I couldn't ult. I got freaking bounce housed there. You saw that? I don't know why Kale went there because it's stupid to go mid. There's no reason to try to push it in if they're all going to respawn, which they did. And that's why that happened. Do not die. Do not die, team. I can't even ult. I'm not able to ult in any of these. Good shit. I can't even ult in these fights. I mean, I, I bursted down the brand. GG. All right, whatever. Whatever, we win. Dude, like, holy shit. Look. I was alive for 1.72 seconds. They did nearly 3k damage. What is dealing that much? And I got ignited instantly, ulted by Brand by myself. What a scary thing. Holy shit, dude. What a scary thing. I got Brand ulted. It's just I get knocked up by Rek'Sai and before I hit the ground, I'm dead. I think what I'm learning is now in games like that, I should ult preemptively or just stay in the back. I'm being too aggressive, but that's because I know that I could burst everyone down. Also, I out damaged everyone on my team. You just stay in the back and auto the tanks because Kel melts even tanks. Yeah, but what I did there, in fact, we can go look at it real quick. Look, I see the Brand, think, kill him. Boom. Because of what happened there, the Jin couldn't participate in the fight because he knew he was fucking dead. Darius had to turn around and stop me and Rek'Sai jumped on me. What I was trying to do was get the two like kind of carries out of the way. Brand does a shit ton of damage in this stage of the game. You see, let's go slow motion. I come, I see Brand. I think I'm gonna just one shot him. Boom, kill him. Rek'Sai knocks me up. I die before anything. That was not a bad fight there. I 100% into that. Anyways, I love you guys. Adios, bye-bye.